Welcome to Computer Active's Plain English Guides to Windows 7. In this guide we'll show you how to check whether your computer is ready to upgrade to Windows 7. So we're using a Windows XP PC here and we're going to uh, check whether it's ready to upgrade. First thing to check is whether it meets the system requirements. And we'll start by checking the processor and the memory. To do this click Start, right click My Computer and then left click the Properties option. And you'll see the System Properties window here. And if you look at the bottom, you'll see there's information on the processor and the memory in your computer. Now to run Windows 7, you need a 1 GHz processor and you need 1 GB of memory. Now you can see from here we have a 2.5 GHz processor, so that'll be just fine. But we've got less than half a GB of RAM or memory. So this computer won't upgrade to Windows 7 comfortably unless we add more. The other thing to check is hard disk space. Windows 7 requires 16 GB of free hard disk space. So just open my computer, right click your main hard disk and choose properties. You'll get this graph showing how much information you can store on your disk and how much free space there is. Now here we've got a hard disk with a capacity of 25 gigabytes, not very much by today's standards, but that's still plenty to install Windows 7. Because we're upgrading from Windows XP we'd have to blank it anyway so we'd have all 25 available to us. If you're upgrading from Windows Vista using an upgrade installation, in our experience it actually needs about 13 gigabytes of space. So we've checked the system requirements, but that's only half the story. That tells us that the computer itself will run Windows 7, or in this case that it won't. But you might also have other peripherals plugged into your computer that you'll want to check. So fortunately there's a free tool from Microsoft that can help us with this. It's called the Upgrade Advisor. And to get it, you have to go to the Microsoft website. We've uh, stored the... Uh, the website address and our bookmarks here, but you'll find it a uh, link just beneath this video. Once you've gone to the page, just uh, click the blue download button, and we've already downloaded it to our desktop. So we'll uh, double click the downloaded file and choose run. Follow the prompts to install the software, which has got to click next, accept the license agreement, and then click install. This might take a few minutes uh, depending on your PC but it's over quite quickly here. Leave the box ticked so it'll run automatically and click close. It'll check for any updates to the software and then you'll get an option to uh, start the check. Notice here it says make sure to connect all of your devices to your computer. This is very important. If you've got things you want to check like printers or scanners that need to be plugged in, they'll also need to be turned on before you start this. When you're ready, click start check. This is going to take a little while so uh, we will uh, jump into the future here. And here we go, a few minutes later, we're going to get the results. First thing we notice is up at the top, it's warning us that we'll have to back up our system first. That's because we're upgrading from Windows XP. If we were using Windows Vista, we wouldn't get that warning. Secondly, just as we noticed earlier, there's not enough memory. It's warning us that we've only got about half a gigabyte and that we'll need to add more to run Windows 7. Underneath that, see Windows Aero not capable. Windows Aero gives you all the graphical effects in Windows 7 and this computer's got a really old graphics card and it won't be able to use them. You could still run Windows 7 without all the fancy effects, but it won't look very nice. Here's a more important problem. We've put a really old uh, Ethernet card in this computer just to see what would happen, and as you can see it's completely not compatible, so we wouldn't get any uh, network connectivity if we upgraded to Windows 7. If you get a problem like that, your hardware's old and will probably have to be replaced. And finally, it's even warning us that one of our software programs down here won't run very well. That's not a big problem. We can just upgrade Messenger to a newer version. So, just to sum up, we'll need to add more memory. Our graphics card isn't quite up to it, and on this computer there's a big problem with the network card. Of course, we deliberately used an old PC for this test so that it would have some problems to show us. Hopefully your computer will have passed with flying colours, and if it has, then you're now ready to upgrade to Windows 7. You'll find video guides on how to do this, whether you're using Windows XP or Windows Vista, on the Computer Active website.